Hey everyone, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to render an animation using Krita. Um, so to render an animation means to make your animation in Krita become a movie a video file that you can watch. Um, so it's a little bit more complicated uh, than other apps, but here we go. So I've got a three frame um, animation here of a ball bouncing up and down. It's not good at all, but it will work for this demonstration. So you're going to come up here to the file menu and you're going to choose uh, render animation. So you have a couple of choices. You can either um, export an image sequence, in which case every single frame will then be um, exported as uh, images. They can be JPEGs or PNGs, things like that. But if you do that, then you're going to have to take those raw images and then turn them into a video file. So that's a little bit more complicated. Um, but there are ways and free ways to do it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do video as that's what most people want. Um, okay, so going through the settings here, your first frame, make sure that this number matches up with whatever your setting is down here in your animation. Um, in most cases in Krita, it will be zero. Your last frame, this is the one that might be uh, incorrect. For my example, I'm going to type in 12. Um, your frames per second. Um, this is this is basically how fast uh, your animation will play. 24 is the de considered the default. Um, this is the width and the height, the dimensions that I had, so I'm all good. Okay, this is the part that requires work. Credit needs an extra program called FFmpeg. So before you go on any further, you have to download the program. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my browser, and I'm simply going to type in FFmpeg. And this is it right here, ffmpeg.org. Now when you get to the site, you can go ahead and click on download. And you think that you'd want to download this here. Um, I want this to be as easy as possible. Um, so uh, here's Windows, here's Mac. I am on a Mac, so I'm going to click on Mac. Um, then when you get here, um, for at least for Mac, you're going to go to um, static builds for Mac OS 64 bit. Okay, now let's take a look for Windows. Um, for Windows, uh, you only have one choice here the Windows builds. Uh, so you can go ahead and click on that one. Now I'm not going to go through the Windows installation, um, but um, I'll, I, I won't be able to go through it all of it because I am on a Mac, um, but you should be good to go. Um, okay, so for Windows, uh, because I know a lot of my students are using Windows. Uh, you can go ahead and you can download this with the blue button and it will download a zip file that you will have to unzip. Okay, for the Mac people, um, you get all this stuff up here um, and you're wondering what should I download. Um, what I did and what worked for me is right down here where you see these download buttons. Um, I came down here and I want to download it as a zip. Um, if you don't know what a 7z file is, you have to have another program to open that up. It is a zipped file, um, done a little differently, but um, you have to have another program to open it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this link right here, download as a zip. I'll let the download, it's super small, and then I'll go to my downloads folder and I'll drag it to my desktop. Okay. So now on my desktop, here we go. So now on my desktop, I'm going to go ahead and find that zip file. Here it is. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and double click it. That unzips it. And what's left is this program right here called FFmpeg. Don't double click it. Don't do anything to it. Just leave it there in a spot. You don't have to have it on your desktop. You can put it in your applications folder or somewhere else but just make sure you know where it is. Okay, back to Krita, almost done. I'm gonna go right here where it says FFmpeg, click on the little folder icon. It wants to know where is it living, so I'm gonna to go to my uh, little house, uh, my little home location here, double click my desktop folder and find FFmpeg. Make sure you're clicking on the program, not the zip file. I'm gonna click on open and now it knows where it exists. Um, the last thing I need to do is right here where it says video location. This is where you name the file and you choose where you're going to put it. So I'm going to click on the little folder. I'm going to save mine to my desktop. 
and um, I'll just call this um, render test. Uh, and it's going to be .mp4. I'll hit save and I'll hit OK. And it goes through and it processes it. The encoding is FFmpeg working, hopefully. All right, we'll go ahead and minimize everything. And here we are on the desktop. Here's my MP4. Let's open it up. OK. So there we are. Um, I'll go ahead and loop it because it's really boring. OK, so there you go. It's a terrible animation, but you can see that it actually worked. And a couple of seconds of work to get FFmpeg up and going. Um, and now all of my animations are set up and Krita is set up to make movies. So a little bit of work, but hey, it's free. You can't really complain. Um, I hope this helps you out, um, and I look forward to seeing anything you make. Thank you.